Free State is one of South Africa's poorest provinces. Sylvester is unemployed and has always lived in so-called matchbox houses. These homes were built under apartheid and never renovated. Their roofs are covered in asbestos, a carcinogenic material which has long since been banned in construction in much of the world. The local government had promised to deal with the problem, but most people continue to live in toxic conditions. It's dangerous, yeah, it's dangerous because there is a chemical here, which has been added on this, uh, yes. Uh, maybe something like uh, TB, tuberculosis. Uh, there are things which is, uh, are not uh, visible from this roof into to within this space. Residents are worried about their health and angry at broken promises. Matthew has lived here for 50 years. He said that surveyors came to calculate the price of a roof replacement back in 2015, but never took further action. He later read that more than 10 million euros in funding had gone missing. We are angry, but we don't know how, what can we do. They take net our money, houses. No, where is that money? But we live like this so in this house. Respect. Give them jail. This is the only thing that I see. In October, residents gathered outside the provincial ANC headquarters to denounce corruption. They were angry with Ace Mahashule, former governor of the Free State. As soon as we have got feedback, we have taken phone numbers of those that lead you. We will be able to report back to them. Now General Secretary of the ANC, Mahashule has denied embezzling public funds, an accusation that goes well beyond housing. In his book, Gangster State, this journalist revealed the scale of Mahashule's corruption in the Free State, even at the beginning of his career, when he was starting out as a provincial minister for agriculture. So in 2005, he goes to the Glen Agriculture College outside Bloemfontein. That's owned this by the state. This is a state States, institution. Yeah. It's where they train, you know, people in agriculture. Uh, agriculture training is done there. He goes there and he slaughters the cows on site, uh, or the, you know, the cattle, and he packages it in meat parcels and ferries it up to ANC conferences up north to, to buy support for his own, you know, or from his own factions. And it just, you know, once again, another early real indication to the national leadership that is somebody here we shouldn't be trusting and regardless of that you know he was allowed to make headway in the provincial structures Mahashule's rise through politics was impressive his popularity grew as he handed out favors to his followers he was able to climb the ranks of the ANC by supporting Nakuza Zana Zuma, ex-wife of Jacob Zuma, in her failed bid to lead the party in 2017. In return for his efforts, he was appointed as the party's secretary general. Mahashule no longer runs the Free State, but people still talk about him, especially in the countryside. He had dealings with the Gupta brothers, who became embroiled in a corruption scandal with former President Zuma. Mahashule supported the Estina Dairy Farm, a project that was supposed to help vulnerable farmers. But in the end, the Gupta brothers were the ones who pocketed the funds. The scandal shook all communities. Francois Schultz is from the region and has been farming for 15 years. He said the scheme had been a disaster. Estina was based on, on a model that was used in India. And uh, at the time I thought, well, this is, this is at least one good initiative. And two years later I heard that the cows were dying and, and there was no money to support, uh, to buy uh, feed for the cattle. It's a, a spree of taking money away from the rural people specifically for their own pockets. After years of investigation, Ace Mahashule was finally convened before court in November. He and seven others face charges of corruption, fraud and money laundering. The trial will begin in February. While some in the ANC are calling for justice, others fear that the arrest of the third most important politician in the party could cause it to implode.
But at the last ANC executive committee meeting, President Ramaphosa took a hard line. We confirm the firm stance we have taken on corruption and wrongdoing within our ranks. These are fundamental to the renewal of our organization and to the restoration of the credibility of the movement among South Africans. This Rebuilding trust with the electorate is a priority for Ramaphosa. The party of Nelson Mandela faces a long walk to integrity.